Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craft Tastic, and I'm going to do uh, Wednesday's haul. I have a few items. I don't have a lot this week, um, at least not as of right now. If I get more, then I'll add to this like I normally do. I'm not sure if you can hear that loud screeching noise. Hopefully you can. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know what that is. Um, the first item is from Mystic's Little Gifts. And this is something that I ordered for my mom for her birthday, which was in January. <laughs> I'm not going to say what day it was. But she's one of those people that I find it impossible to shop for. But since she's been here during my illness um, on a regular basis, I kind of see more of what she does. So I noticed that she was carrying around this little spiral me notebook that she keeps notes in and writes things in so I figured I would get her this which is I've already opened it but I just want to share I got her this she has a um, brown little leather purse that she carries and I think this will match her purse so she looked at Mystic's Little Gifts things before and she looked at my Traveler's Notebook collection and everything and she was interested and asked for the um, website. So that kind of told me, okay, she likes this stuff. So I got her this and she'll be back within the next week or so. So I need to go ahead and get it set up for her. But yeah. I don't remember what the color is. I'm not a brown person. <laughs> I'm not a fan of brown. But my mom seems to like it. So so I will leave the uh, color in the description below. But this is what I got for her. I also got this pen or pencil case. I don't know what color this leather is either. I think it matches um, my pocket traveler's notebook let's look and see yes it is the same as this only with I think that's the taupe stitching or light brown stitching but yes these two are pretty much the same color and I think this is sand if I'm not mistaken I'm not sure but this does fit pens and pencils really nicely um, you can load it up and depending on what kind of purse you carry, it will fit in your purse or your bag, whatever you want. You can put some washi tape in there, a few stickers, anything you need. But so I also got that. And that is it from Mystic's Little Gifts. Oh, and she sent me, I didn't see this before. This is a pen loop. That she included so I'll actually stick that in the bag and use that for my mom's setup that's really nice I didn't I, how did I miss that before I guess I was so into the um, the leather that I didn't see it how cool is that uh, I think it like peels off and yeah and you stick it on so that's really cool so definitely giving that to my mom too so I'm gonna put all of this back in here and I'll probably record um, the process of setting that up again it's a 4 by 6 which is an A6 this is the information for Mystic's Little Gifts if you want to pause and get that okay make sure I give my mom that as well next this is something that I've had for a while and I shared it on Instagram and forgot to share it here and I will leave a link in the description box below for this as well these are jelly sheets like the jelly shoes from back in the day if you're old enough to know about those um, but what you do is cut them down to size and use them as dashboards 
in your traveler's notebook or your planner. Just decorative dashboards and you can put sticky notes on them. And you get this whole pack of all these different colors and I'll flip through the colors. You get the pink. These are pretty stiff right now because it's cold in my house right now. Um, when it's warm they're softer and more pliable. This is the clear. Let's move it down so you can see. And it's got the holographic star confetti glitter thing going on. This is the black, which is probably my favorite. You could also make your own traveler's notebooks with these as well. People do that. This is another clear. How many clears do I have? Or is that clear? I don't know. That's not quite clear, is it? Can't really tell the difference. I think this is like a tint of light pink, maybe. Yeah, it's a really, really pale pink. This is the, the hot pink. Sorry about the glare. I'm trying to show them without the glare. This is the blue, light blue. Or I guess that could be a turquoisey color, maybe. Can you see that? I'm not sure it's showing up on camera. This is like a white frosted maybe and they do have a protective layer over them so I haven't taken that off. It's like a frosted and then this is like a lavenderish light pink color. So you get all of these in one bundle so it's not like you have to pick a color you get all these colors and again you can trim them down to size to fit in your notebook make your own um, in your to fit in your planner you can make your own traveler's notebook with them and use them for dashboards or dividers or whatever you choose so they're about eight inches by 12 inches I'm guessing yeah so 8 by 12 so and I don't know if I want to make a traveler's notebook out of this maybe I should just to show you how to do it but it's basically the same process as um, the clear vinyl traveler's notebook tutorial that I did and I'll link to that here but I may come back and show because someone wanted me to do a video to show how to cut these and put them in your planner which is pretty basic and straightforward but we can do that okay that's it for the eyeball stuff now I took a trip to Joanne only to get more elastics because either I've hid my elastic from myself or I used it all. I can't find it. <laughs> oh, I spend a lot of time looking for things. Um, That's what happens. I reorganized some things and now I can't find my elastic or either I've used it all. So I bought some black. It's called beading cord. But I don't know. I think it's $2.99 and I got it for 25% off. It was on sale plus I had a coupon for an additional 20% off of everything. Probably should have bought more but I was trying to see if it says what size, uh, what the thickness is but it doesn't. This one as well, the white. Then they had the stamps on sale and these are pretty large stamps. These are $4.99 but they were buy one get one free since I'm doing my art journal now I picked these up so essentially I got them for $4.99 which I thought was a pretty decent price for the size of the stamps they had some that were $12.99 which were just a little bit bigger so I don't know why their price is so low but I'm not gonna complain I picked those two up and that is everything that I picked up from Joanne. This morning I woke up 
watching YouTube videos, which is something that I normally do when I'm getting ready after I've watched the first good bit of news, like the first 15 minutes of the news. Um, then I start watching YouTube. And I watched Cherished Treasures. Ramona's video on what's new at Michael's and for anybody that's new or um, wants to know what are the new things that are out at the craft stores like Michael's she does Dollar Tree she does Tuesday morning I think she does Joanne I'm not sure she does Hobby Lobby but if you're interested in what's new at those places check her channel out um yeah because she does show you everything that she finds so I don't usually like to watch the Tuesday morning videos because Tuesday morning not all the stores get the same stuff and it's kind of disappointing when you go in there and they don't even have it and they never do get it but anyway I'm very chatty today <laughs> um so anyway I was watching her video this morning and for what was new at Michael's and she was showing the new items in the two dollar bin so I did pick up this clear stamp this was just one of the stamps that they have and it has a little die cut in here and the only reason I got this is because I don't really have anything for Easter I'm not really into card making I want to be into card making so I would probably use this for other things not just for cards I don't know I just thought the little bunnies were cute and this gives me something for my to add to even begin to have an Easter stash really I mean I have a few egg stickers but that's it so I picked that up this was two dollars and I had a 50 or 40 percent off coupon so I don't know which one of these items got the 40 percent off but it doesn't matter because they were both the same price anyway and I also picked up this and you should know why I had to have it if you can see what it says it has the months on it and it's one of those rolling stamps they have several other stamps um, with different words and phrases on them but I didn't really want any of those I just wanted this one with the months so that's all I got from the $2 bin. They also have some embossing folders. And the embossing folders have rubber a, a single rubber, clear rubber stamp in them. I think I may go back and get the one with the mermaid in it. Um, I wouldn't use the embossing folder for embossing. I would use it as a kind of like a stamp for my art journal but I was I want to see how my art journaling process goes if I stick to it before I buy too much more for it specifically so anyway then also from Michaels I've been eyeballing well I've been looking at the Jane Davenport supplies a lot I already have um, the clear stamps from the mixed media collection and I've wanted these paints and I would not buy them because they were too expensive but now the Jane Davenport stuff is 50% off so I picked up this set of paints and I also picked up this set it includes four matte acrylic paints one paintbrush and stencil so this one contains the face stencil and this one contains the scales like the mermaid scales so I will be using these in the future for projects and I can't wait and I would love to go back and get the water brush um, watercolor water brushes that are pre-filled I would love to get those but they are $39 I think it was $39 so 50% off that's like $20 I don't know maybe if they're still there and discounted I could go back and use the um, Joanne 20% off coupon too maybe we'll see I don't know but that I told you it was a small haul that's all I picked up so far from Amazon I order this little cutter it has a ceramic blade that I wanted to try I've seen a few people using these 
to cut washi tape and I'm not really sure how well it works I thought it looked a little safer than having an exacto knife laying around even though I'm pretty well experienced with the exacto knife I'm still nervous about using it a lot so I'm gonna see how this works I'm not sure I'll be doing a whole lot of planning videos but I thought this would be something nice if I'm not at my desk to have um, so it looks like this and it goes all the way down looks pretty cool I'm not sure if they have other colors um, this is just a little spread that I was working on and I'm just gonna add this is a Dollar Tree planner that I was going to do my best to spruce up a little bit but I was just in the spur of the moment playing around with a spread so I think I'm going to put this down on Wednesday because this day I'll be pretty tied up most of the day so let's see how this works okay now that's issue because I'm afraid I would lose the cover and I didn't read the instructions which I'm notorious for doing but let's see what happens it doesn't really have instructions so this is really thin cheap paper in this Dollar Tree planner well, it feels like it's cutting it cut quite nicely actually um, I'm just cutting a little crooked but let's see uh, let's see if I can cut down the line here I mean I could always get the ruler huh <laughs> but we're just testing so yeah I think that was totally worth it I'm quite happy with it I'm not sure if it can be sharpened if the blade can be replaced or if you just buy a new one ideal for intricate shapes finger friendly so that's good safety cap non-slip finish so yeah I picked this up I ordered it from Amazon it's called the slice and I will put a link below for it I like this a lot maybe I'll get two one to keep at my desk and one to go in my bag because I think that's really cute okay and then the other thing that I have is my order came in from Coco's Vision so I'm going to share these items that I picked up. First of all, this is one of her new dolls. Um, her name is Coco. Yep. And I just, I love this doll. And I love the way that it, they have the highlights on the skin. So that it gives her a little more dimension. She doesn't look like a flat illustration. So I like that about a lot of the, her dolls. And again, the shop is Coco's Vision. There's a link below in the description box. And there's also a discount code. And then I guess this is a freebie. It's a die cut. And she's had this doll, Pamela Pink and Pink. Um, for a while and I don't know how I missed it but I, I saw her in someone's planner and I knew it was a Coco's Vision doll so I went searching and couldn't find it but I asked the owner of Coco's Vision about it and she pointed me in the right direction and I found it and so I ordered her I don't know why I just like the doll and I've always liked Timber this is the fall timber sticker. This was uh, an extra also. 
and I like the size of this I mean because if you're using a happy planner for instance this is a b6 size but even here I think this is a nice size and I like the sheets with the two different sizes because if you're using a smaller planner then you have a smaller doll for a bigger planner you have a bigger doll okay and then the main thing that I ordered was this sticky note pad and it is super cute with cocoa on it and what I like about this I noticed that a lot of the sticker shops that are making sticky note pads they have stuff all over it and it's like where are you supposed to write so I think this is really nice and then if you want to cut her off and turn her into a sticker you can do that and still have space to write I just think this is really cute and it's really clear and crisp let's see how they stick oh yeah that's nice so there she is it sticks quite nicely See, I have to actually peel it off. A lot of the sticky notes don't stick. If you've shopped the sticky notes from the Target dollar bin, then you already know <laughs> that some sticky notes don't stick. Um, I know Michael's, some of theirs don't stick either. So that is really nice um, and works out great. So that is all I have for this week's haul. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Thank you to all my current subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell so that you'll receive notifications each time I upload a new video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.